So in recent videos, we've been looking mostly at resistors and how they set current in a circuit. For visual effect, I'm using LEDs. We have a 5 volt power supply. LEDs block about 2 volts, so you'll have about 3 volts across the resistor. And so they're about the same brightness. It's a 1 kilo ohm resistor with about 3 volts across it. We have about 3 milliamps of current, so about 1.5 going through each LED. Now I'm going to shuffle this over. You might see that one get a little brighter. There we go. And uh, put this one. Now you see that one's a lot brighter. So this resistor is a 220 ohm resistor. Lower resistance, more current. So it's a little more than, or a little less than one fourth of the resistance. So to make math easy, we'll just say there's about four times the current going through this LED as that one plus that current's going through the resistors that is going through the LED. So, we also expanded in the last video the light dependent resistor. So, I will pluck this resistor out of the positive rail and connect it to the light dependent resistor which goes through the positive rail. And now you can see the LED is dimmer than the one next to it and lighting levels are going to change a bit as I increase the light but now they should be somewhat close to the same brightness there we go if I get the light like that and we turn it off now you can see the LED goes completely dark so let's say I really like this circuit for whatever reason but I don't want the LED to go out let's say I want it to always be at least as bright as that LED what I can do is take a 680 ohm resistor and put it parallel to the light dependent resistor and as soon as we make that connection you'll see that LED got a whole lot brighter than it was before so it's brighter now and the reason why is because we have a lot of resistance across uh, this LED especially if I put my finger over it and if we get real dark we can get into the tens of millions of ohms of resistance and right now it doesn't matter what resistance it is providing because we have a current path through this resistor and then that resistor. So since they're in series, their resistance adds up. So 680 plus 220 is about 900 ohms of resistance. And uh, this one's about one kilo ohm of resistance because they're not perfect, but uh, they're pretty close to their rated value. So we have about the same amount of current going through each LED right now. And so if I wanted this circuit, but I want the LED to stay lit, then use that resistor in parallel. So now, let us get a couple index cards here and just show the LEDs right there and I'll slide this up a little and we will zoom in I'm gonna turn the uh, light on brighter and now you notice that uh, this one you can see the glow is uh, quite a bit larger than the one next to it I'll grab my headlamp which is quite a bit brighter than the lamp I'm using and uh, now you can see that it is the one that has the light dependent resistor is quite a bit brighter than the uh, other one that just has the one kilo ohm resistor. So we can get this LED brighter thanks to the light dependent resistor and thanks to the second resistor that we added in parallel with the light dependent resistor we don't have to worry about getting down to no current because they're in parallel. So, when you have parallel resistors of any kind, we talked about equal value resistors. So, two 1 kilo ohm resistors in parallel act like a 500 ohm resistor in parallel because you have current going through one based on the voltage across it plus current going through the other one. So, you have twice the current of a single one, which is the same as having half the resistance. So, when the light dependent resistance gets real high, we have slightly less resistance than this resistor by itself because it's still letting a tiny bit of current through but the vast majority of the currents going through this resistor so we can just look at its resistance 680 ohms and just calculate from there we will be close enough to the uh, current estimates we need now when we get really bright light on the light dependent resistor we saw the LED get brighter than this LED by a fair amount that was because the light dependent resistor its resistance went down to almost zero ohms probably about 30 ohms 
that's why we have to have another resistor in series with it to uh, keep the resistance from going below 220 ohms so the resistance goes to almost nothing it starts basically ignoring that this resistor exists because there's so little resistance so much as current is flowing through that what little current is going through there when the light is bright doesn't really factor anymore so you start considering about zero ohms of resistance probably about 30 with the light we're using plus 220 and uh, so that's another way you might use resistors in parallel when one is variable and you want to limit the upper level of resistance that it can provide so while these are in parallel we can never get above 680 ohms of resistance right there and that's important if we want to keep that LED lit so in any case hope this visual demonstration helped you this these topics are covered a lot in text but usually you don't get a visual demonstration so that's why I'm kind of doing a bunch of these visual demonstrations only because the text is out there so there uh, may be people confused by this hopefully that helped cleared it up so thank you for watching I will see you in the next video